Hello, and thank you for joining me for another demonstration. Today, I'm going to be using the Ansible Automation platform to perform Windows updates with snapshots. So this is going to be on my VMware vCenter environment. So first things first, I'm going to take that snapshot. I'm going to connect to uh, my vCenter and whichever host I'm going to be updating, take a snapshot. Uh, keep in mind that you do it with memory. That's always the best option. Next, I'm going to do maintenance mode start. So whatever hosts are going to be updated, I'm going to go ahead in my monitoring package and I'm going to put them in maintenance mode to cut down on notifications. Next, I'm going to perform the update if there are any issues inside of that update. Uh, so say, for example, I'm not actually doing just regular Windows updates. Say I'm doing something else more complicated, right? A random series of events. Uh, and if anything inside of that happens to fail, I'm going to revert back to that previous snapshot. Uh, once that's completed, uh, whether it was successful or we had to revert, I'm going to go ahead and delete the snapshot that I created. And last, I'm going to exit that host out of maintenance mode. So I'm going to take a quick peek at the playbook I'm utilizing. So really, very simple. Step one, connect to my vCenter take the snapshot and remember I said uh, add the memory option and it's right here the memory dump the idea behind that is if I take a snapshot with memory and I have to revert back to it it will continue to be in a running state if I leave memory dump off whenever it reverts that snapshot uh, that VM will go into the stop state and so I'll have to go in there and either in my automation tell it to start or manually start it so it's best to just snapshot that memory so it'll pick right back up where it left off Next, maintenance mode, and then I'm actually performing my Windows update inside of a block. Very specific reason for that. So the block has some additional options inside, one being rescue and one being always. So rescue means anything in the standard block that fails, go ahead and um, issue whatever options are inside of this rescue, right? So whatever tasks are in here, go ahead and run all of those. Um, if there's an always option as well, so whether it is... Uh, the standard block finishes just fine. It'll run always. If it fails and hits the rescue, it'll still run the always, right? So it gives you some extra flexibility. And in here, I'm looking for any failures. Go ahead and do the rescue. So one note on my playbook here, I'm doing state is searched. So this is akin to running it in check mode, right? It's just going to look and see what updates would be performed. Since this is a demo environment and I don't want... Um, I don't want it always being updated. I want it to actually show, you know, things happening. I keep it in search mode uh, just for the sake of uh, this demonstration. After that, here's deleting the snapshot. And it's really almost identical to creating a snapshot. But here it's just stayed absent. And then uh, last, remove it from maintenance mode. So whenever I fire that off, I'm going to come into my tower environment. I'm going to look for my Windows playbook. I'm just going to fire that guy off. So here's the completion of my playbook. As you can see, it went through just fine, put everything, uh, rather, first created a snapshot, put everything in maintenance mode, performed the upgrade, uh, everything ran just fine so it didn't hit the rescue. Uh, then it went and deleted the snapshot and last removed it from maintenance mode. So pretty simple, but pretty powerful and effective. Uh, let me know how you guys would modify this. What would you change? What would you tweak? What would you add? Thanks, and uh, we'll see you next time.